and uh, the second afternoon session held in parallel with smart energy and energy storage is going to be wind and tidal and uh, kicking off that one we have Sarah Mer Merrick who works for Vestas UK and she'll be describing her um, activities through the Act on Facts campaign which is um, aiming to provide factual based evidence to support the onshore wind sector in the UK and perhaps some lessons we might be able to learn from that. Um, next up we've got Matt Lewis from Bangor University who's been working on trying to analyse the tidal stream potential around the coast of Wales. Um, we have Steve Salt who's uh, going to be talking from uh, West Coast Energy about uh, some of the activities that they've carried out in partnership with communities across the UK in order to try and drive um, a new era, perhaps a new philosophy of uh, developing partnership projects uh, with communities and I think that's particularly interesting because it taps into the zeitgeist about uh, new community ownership, uh, deriving the maximum from community benefits and uh, that's something that the industry and government is very keen on in, in Wales. And uh, then we have Alex Herbert from Swansea Bay Tidal Lagoon and of course uh, that project has hit the news and captured the imagination so he'll be updating us about the latest activity on the project and what that means for, uh, for Wales, the Welsh renewable energy industry. Um, and chairing that session we've got John Woodruff from Natural Power um, and John's been active in uh, the wind sector for uh, very, very many years, highly experienced and he's going to be a very good, capable chair for that session.